Look at me. I'm so talented. I'm so good at predicting people. I should play Super Smash Brothers. So, I don't know what to say. They're just kind of doing stuff. That was a good command grab. I feel like let's just get that on reaction. Let's just like run the platform, take the damage. Good parry. Uh, I don't know how Mario's combo game works. I don't know if like a down throw up air thing could have happened there or not. Now Mario's really like normal. Um, if you just want to play like a normal guy. So like he's good as a secondary. He just makes sense, and like he's also stupid. <laughs> like he's it's like it's like the way he plays is so normal. So easy to just like understand and play. So like if you're someone like Train, who's like yeah, this is my secondary. You know Mario's not bad for that. But also like like you you play this normal thing, and then like once he finds you, you know, then it murders you, and it's really dumb. <laughs> he plays so normal until he gets the opportunity to do things that aren't normal. And then... Okay, that had to have been a misinput. Like, maybe... Like, I don't even think it could have been a messed up roar. He probably would have gotten a fair there. That was probably just an up air. That was, like, weird finger movement on the C-stick. Got a back air. No! I feel like that was a... That should have been a down air. I don't know, Mario combos. Uh, how do you find this kill now, though? Because, like, Mario kind of has, like, as much, like, in the same way that, you know, Mario just kind of plays like a, like a normal guy when he's not doing his silly things. Mario's not, like, you're not in getting silly things by Mario range, so he just has to be normal and just kill you normally. Hi! Wanna... I was a, I was a little lonely. You know, figured figured you want a friend. <laughs> who do you who do you think's got it? Uh, definitely Mario. Yeah, it, like in the like the matchup, Mario definitely wins. Mario is really good at comboing like big characters because like yeah. you just keep getting hit by the up airs and. Because his kid just he's he's Mario obviously, so like his kit's probably like the most basic. But his like... kit's like very like his, the thing about Mario is that he's very like normal. He plays like a normal character. But then, like, his combo game is very, uh, it kills you sometimes. And especially on, like, larger characters like Bowser, you just kind of, he keeps hitting you and he keeps hitting you and then you might just die. Yeah, you just get locked and you just keep going and keep going. And then you get to the top of the screen and it's like, well, you've either, <laughs> it's you've either taken, like, 80 damage or you're just dead. Yeah. But, like, like, uh, like, Mario is trained secondary. He's a, he's a Samus main normally, so. Like, a normal kind of character that does normal kind of things until he hits you is a pretty good secondary. Yeah. And this is not a bad matchup to be practicing it in. I think this is a very t uh, timely matchup. Or just, just it fits, you It's know? Mario versus Bowser. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like, you can't just... And Bowser's kind of holding it in, you know? He's not, he's not letting him Bowser's take that last not, stop. Like, Bowser's pretty solid. Exactly. It's pretty good. We're gonna see uh, how Mario kills here, because Bowser's got a lot of like big skin. Oh, that was oh, there it is. That was cute. I like that. That was a little just get behind him. A little bit of a you know, a little bit of a hop, skip, and a spin. Fake him out all the way until you can land that grab. Then he dies. Yeah, because I was just gonna say Bowser has like big scary buttons that reach far and hit hard, and you're like Mario. Who just kind of like you have normal moves. Yeah. It's like you, you don't want to just be throwing yourself out of Bowser, being like, I'm gonna throw this and maybe it'll hit you and maybe you'll die. Because if you're wrong and then Bowser just presses a forward air or like punishes it with a side B or something, it's like that's not gonna work out for you. I normally have like a lot more faith in the heavier characters. There's just something about them that they're able to hit harder. But the smaller characters, of course, they have more agility and they're able to just kind of lock you wherever they want to. Yeah, I know. Big heavy hitting characters are really like uh, they're good in tournament a lot because. Yeah. They're just kind of simple. Uh, you have to put in like a lot of like. There's a lot of opportunities for you to make mistakes against them that like they don't have to because it's like they're just like simple. They just do like they get it all done in less stuff, and you have to do more. Yeah. And you have the opportunity to do more. That's kind of like their their 
they have weaknesses, but like if you... It's like your opponent is being held to a higher standard than you a lot of the time. Even if like, for example, like Mario definitely beats Bowser. Like that's yeah. just like, he's just got the advantage generally. I don't know, I, I kind of have faith in this Bowser. He seems, he seems to know what he's doing, or at least he knows how to last. Yeah, definitely not getting like destroyed for sure. Yeah. Really interested in why Train's choosing these like, uh, throws that aren't down throw when it feels like down throw would combo. I feel like he's trying to get uh, Bowser to come off the edge and, you know, kind of skydive with him a little bit. <laughs> you know, just corner him. Yeah, cornering him is good. I just want to know, why the America Mario? That's, uh, that's my only question. I don't know. Some people think it looks good. It's, it's a pretty silly costume. I mean, is that I like or it. like, because like his tag is MDVA train. He like goes to American regions a lot. Oh, but, then that, that's probably it. Yeah, like literally, you know. You know, kind of like how uh, when you're away from home in like uh, the, uh, hockey games, like you switch jerseys. It could be it, you know. And then he goes to Canada, he switches different one. Yeah, it's like he's American. from he's from here. He just like travels a lot, and he spent a lot of time in the MDVA oh. region. Like that's like he's from Ontario. He's like coming back home basically. Oh. But he spends a lot of time there. And so like, he's in a souvenir. <laughs> oh, first stock taken. Mm -hmm. Ah, that fire breath is such a good move. It is a really good move. When uh, the Pokemon trainer was its own separate three Pokemon <laughs> in like what was it Smash Four? It was Smash Four. It was just Charizard. Just Charizard. It, on, only Charizard. It's all you saw. Just Charizard. In Smash Four, there was a character reveal trailer for Pokemon getting two thirds of its characters cut. Yeah. <laughs> I, just think about that. I just they, how they had a everyone they had, was. They had a whole Charizard reveal. It's like. He was already in the game and came with two other characters that you've just cut and then you made a trailer for it. <laughs> they just they just really didn't like the other characters. They, they were you like, got it you got an announcement trailer for one move. <laughs> <laughs> Only B button. <laughs> Oh, oh, keeping him off there, but it's oh. not working very well. Oh my god. Oh sometimes that just works. When Bowser's above people, it's like his options aren't good. Like down B and down R aren't like the greatest moves ever, but like you have to respect that they might be coming. Oh. I think that both of them are trying to basically they're just edge guarding. They're just keeping each other off as much as they can. Oh. He was he was mashing B for Bowser up B because that's what you do. So that kinda sucks. Alright. Can't keep him off there for long. Borg doing better this game than last time. Honestly, Borg is pretty good. I but, think I think Borg's pretty good. I also think that uh, Train over there is just going. He's just plowing yeah. through. Like like Train could just find a hit and yeah. he's just finding it's just any form of just a easy damage. He's just yeah. going definitely. At it. Train's combo game with Mario could. Oh damn! I was just gonna say it could probably use a bit of work. Definitely not always getting what looks like the best possible. But that's all right. That's fine. You know, he could still win. He took game one. One one. You know, they're just they're just tasting the waters. They just wanted to you know let the audience like, oh, who's gonna win? We gotta we gotta find out. <laughs> Throwing for content. Yeah, they just, I love. They just wanna they just wanna keep going. You know, I love the game so much. Real. Love Smash Ultimate so much, want to play this. And, okay, we're just getting the Dark Samus. Oh, we're switching. Yeah, this is his main. So. Oh, yeah, it was just it was just goofing around time. But it, yeah. was, it, was, it was practicing. He's practicing the Mario. But now that he's down a game on the side, he's like, well, I don't want to lose. Honestly, there's no, there's no better time to practice than when you're the most stressed in these types of situations. Well, you definitely, yeah, no, like, you need, like, Bracket experience is a real thing, and you can have characters that you've practiced a lot but never played in bracket, and it's just like, well, I can't do that. Exactly. So you gotta see. have like a variety, because if you don't have a variety, then if you're only like a one-trick pony, that's it, you're done. Yeah, well, people understand your moves, and like, there's nothing you can really do about it. Yeah, well, I mean, playing one character is not that bad if you just are really good at making that one character hard to beat. Oh, people definitely. do it. It's not an awful thing. It's just sometimes it's good to have like a bunch yeah, of Yeah, no, especially in Ultimate, they're, with a game with so many characters, it can be worth playing more than one of them. Yeah. I, 
forget that characters are in the roster sometimes. I have like this a game's big moment. <laughs> literally, I will see like a Bowser Jr. or Ridley or something and be like, oh, right, my, that's like oh my you God, exist. In the game. <laughs> I think I had that with uh, I forgot King K. Rule was in the game uh, for a good while, and then what? one okay. of my friends was like, yeah, I first did King K. Rule, and I was like, what? When? Yeah, my my brother used to be this like big amiibo collector. He like used oh. to collect a lot of amiibos, and he told me, yeah, the Bowser Junior's amiibos coming out soon. And I was like, huh? huh? Bowser Junior? Because like this is like only when the Smash amiibos existed. I was like, wait, are they adding him to the game or something? Because I just forgot he was already there. When did he come out? <laughs> like he was he was just in Smash Four. Yeah, I think he initially released with it. And yeah, like, he was just in the base roster. Like yeah. it would make sense that there would be an amiibo of him. I just forgot about him. Like so much that like when my brother mentioned that there would be an amiibo, I was like, huh? So like I don't know. I gotta say, spent a lot of time talking about Bowser Jr. for a character that's not in this game right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean his dad's there. So, he sure is. And his dad's his dad's getting uh, his dad's gonna even in his the dad's ground. Getting, right his, now he's getting his ass kicked. His but. dad's getting zoned. His dad's <laughs> getting zoned. That's kind of heavies have got like. It's so funny being a heavy because it's like you just have like natural weaknesses to like so many different archetypes. You just gotta hope. It's like, it's like when you deal with the zoners, it's like, well, I can't get in. And then when you deal with the big combo characters, it's like, well, they beat me up when they touch me. And when you deal with the like the like the the, the small fast characters, it's like, well, I can't keep up with them. But then also like you kill. Dark Samus is able to do that chip damage, but Bowser can just kind of get him to the same level in like a few easy hits. He just oh, has to lock him in there. That, uh, that up smash was really oh. ambitious. There was definitely not enough time to do that. Oh, You're probably there goes dead. That stop. Yeah. Samus up throw is really good. Like Bowser's really heavy, so I was like, maybe, but like, no, I shouldn't have doubted it ever. <laughs> the bomb interrupted the grab. That was really funny. <laughs> Oh. oh, there oh, he goes. There and is. the and double. There he is. Oh, Good job, right Train. Out. That was yeah. a Samus is love. Samus is love that down there. Like all of them. I swear. I've never seen a Samus.